You want to start your cloud journey, but you are not sure whether to pick AWS, Azure, or GCP. Hello guys and girls, Raj here, and in this video, I'm going to answer that question. I'm going to look at multiple data points. Also, I have created a flowchart, yes, a flowchart to help you decide. All right, let's get started. So one disclaimer, I'm only going to talk about AWS, Azure, and GCP. Uh, I am not going to cover other clouds such as OCI and Alibaba because uh, their market dominance is much lower compared to uh, these three clouds. Okay, so the first decision factor is, is your current company adopting one of these clouds? If yes, uh, you should learn that cloud, get certification, and then that's how you should get started. Because it is much easier to switch projects in your current existing company, uh, then learn a cloud and then try to find a job externally, right? Because whenever you go for an interview, they will try to see if you have real hands-on experience or not. If your company is indeed uh, doing proof of concept and adopting either AWS or Azure or GCP, uh, you should get on that and then get some hands-on experience. Now, if that answer is no, uh, then there are multiple uh, decision points. Uh, so the most important factor is location-based job data in these clouds. Uh, so it's not a blanket uh, data that we want to look at. Uh, so what do I mean by that? So let's jump into LinkedIn and then I'm going to show you guys and girls. All right, so we are in LinkedIn under the Jobs tab. So if I search for jobs related to AWS in United States, so this location is important. I'm going to show you guys and girls this. Uh, so uh, the number of AWS jobs for United States is around 76,000. We are going to round it up. A number of Azure jobs is uh, 41,000. A number of GCP jobs in US is around 16,000. Uh, so if I do like rough approximation, uh, so uh, AWS around two times more jobs than Azure, and Azure has around 2.5 times more jobs than GCP, right, in the United States. So and AWS has the highest number of jobs because it's been around longer. Uh, so there's more competition as well. I'm going to come back to this point in, in a minute. Uh, but for now, let's, let's say, okay, all these three clouds, healthy number of jobs in US. Uh, so it's, it's not really a factor. If you know one cloud good enough, uh, you can get a job. Now, let's say you are in India, okay? So in India, AWS related jobs are around uh, 18,000. Azure is uh, 11,000 and GCP is 2,000, right? So now the hair, the ratio is much more different. So AWS still has around like double uh, the jobs in India, but the number of jobs that GCP has is the ratio is much lower in India. So Azure has over five times the number of jobs in India. So if you are in India, I would not go for GCP at this point, right? Because it's not really a big number. Uh, so it, there'll be a lot of other factors, like maybe if you want a GCP job, maybe you have to move. There will be less opportunity. Uh, they will look for more niche area of depth, etc. Uh, but then again, it's, it's up to you. Like if you are comfortable with competition and you know you can do good, uh, then, it, the, then it's up to you. But just based on the number and the ratios of jobs uh, in India, I would stick with AWS or Azure for now. So now let's take a look at competition. You, you might say, hey Raj, but AWS has been around the longest. Uh, so any job I go for AWS, there will be a lot of competition. Not really. Let's look at some data points. So LinkedIn also shows how many applicants are there for each jobs. Uh, so you can see the first one, software architect, uh, probably for AWS, there are nine applicants for this job. And then if I scroll down, uh, see the five applicants, one applicant, but this is one day ago, so it's like not really a good indicator. Okay, let's see, AWS architect for this resource logistics, three weeks ago, nine applicants. So it's not like you have a really bad chance. It's not like for one job, there are like hundreds of applicants. Uh, so it's still good odds if you know if you know AWS good, you you still have a fair shot uh, to get this job. All right. So the next factor to consider is access to network. 
so this actually I I uh, really like this factor and I use it in my personal uh, studying. So when I say access to network, I mean the people you know, right? Maybe you have a really good friend that you went to college together and maybe he is learning Azure. It is easier to learn something with a friend together, like someone who is going to hold you up, uh, who is going to say, hey, uh, maybe next weekend we are going to finish this chapter on database and then let's discuss this, right? So it's like accountability partner. So study has shown that if you have an accountability partner, generally you, you do things a little better rather than doing it by yourself. But again, that depends on the personality, but on average, like if you are doing, trying to like lose weight or something, and if you have a partner that you go to gym with, a study has shown that you show better results because you think that, okay, we got a, it's like a competition, a friendly competition. Uh, so similarly, uh, when I was studying AWS, I had a study partner and that helped me a lot. And then also there are a couple more factors. Uh, maybe there's a boot camp, right? Uh, like maybe boot camp arranged for free, maybe for AWS. And then you feel more comfortable if you have a friend going with you, right? No one wants to be in a place where they don't know anyone. So if you have someone like that, and then if both of you agree to learn on a particular cloud, go for that cloud. And this goes beyond just the learning part. Uh, maybe you have like a senior from your college or school, like from your alumni network, who can help you uh, get into a job interview. Uh, so maybe you, you have someone who you are good friends with, who you knew, good relationship, and then maybe you reach out and maybe that person can refer you to that project or to that company. And that company is getting GCP architects or AWS architects, right? So then study that, right? So that's what I mean by access to network. Uh, so that's the next factor. So the next things to consider is your niche. Uh, so again, this is not gonna apply to everybody. Uh, so let's say uh, you really like edge computing and telecommunication, right? Uh, and general architects really cannot go deep into that because that area requires a lot of research. Uh, so maybe you want to pick AWS because AWS has uh, more maturity in this area. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna speak on behalf of all the niche because I, I haven't done all the comparison of all the clouds for all the niches. You gotta do that research. Uh, but let's say like you specialize in some Microsoft software with some uh, licensing requirements or something and chances are Azure will probably have that. Uh, so depending on your niche, do the research and find out which cloud has better jobs, better opportunity, which cloud is a little bit ahead, and then pick that. So after you do research on these factors, decide. Uh, so this is really a big factor. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak about it in a minute, but even after all this, you are still a little confused. You don't know who, what, what cloud you're gonna pick. If you're not sure, pick AWS. A lot of jobs right now, it's still growing. It's still in the early phase. A lot of enterprises still not adopted cloud to the full extent. So I would just go with uh, AWS for now if you're not sure. But the important point is this. If you have to take one thing from this video, that is you got to decide. Don't be analysis paralysis because there is no wrong decision here. In the future, almost all enterprises will have more than one cloud. Chances are they will have at least two cloud or even three clouds. Even if it is beneficial to stick with one cloud because you will get bigger discount, your, your developers will know one cloud inside and out, so it will be faster to implement stuff. But that's not how we humans work. Like uh, we, variety is the spice of life. How do I know this? Because look, uh, look around your current uh, technology landscape, right? You will never see uh, enterprise or big companies who have been around for multiple years have just one technology. They never do that. If they started 20, 30 years back, they will have mainframe and you will never see mainframe is gone. They will have mainframe and then they will have Java, then they will have some newer platform, Python, Go, but you will see everything is there. And this multi-cloud trend is happening already. If you look at big enterprises who started with AWS, you will see they already adopted another cloud. Uh, so based on the historical 
pattern for the technological landscape, all the big companies will have multiple clouds down the line. The worst thing you could do is keep thinking, do analysis paralysis, and not deciding anything. Uh, so this is my homework to you guys and girls. Uh, give yourself some finite time, like maybe uh, two weeks, uh, three weeks max. Do all your research, look at all the job data based on your location, think through your niche, check out with your friends, your network, and then decide on a cloud and then get started within the time period you have given yourself. If you have any questions, comments you want to discuss uh, on this topic, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. I generally answer to all my comments. And if you like this video, if you think this was helpful, uh, click that like button, smash it if that's something you are into, and subscribe. Uh, I have a bunch of other technical videos, deep dive discussions on AWS services, and also I have videos on how I switched to my career from mainframe to the cloud. Alright guys and girls, that's the video. I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. Bye!